Good day is Friday, October 13, 2023. Jump date for Monday the 16th. All right, let's go. Well, not a great day to portfolio. Obviously, the LFMD will look like an improvement, but last night's number looked like it didn't take, so this number is not quite as good as it actually was yesterday. But uh, or, anyway, uh, but certainly still looking pretty good in here. No changes in stops. Obviously, we'll take a look. We'll take a look at that in just one second. No setups going in tomorrow. There were five out of about twenty five hundred or so that I took a second look at, but many of these were already in my list to begin with. Things like Dino, Dino, and a couple of the energies, but a lot of support below on those guys. This long kind of caught my eye, but it's it's pulled all the way back below its its thirty EMA. I think this was on last night, so. Probably just go ahead and need to take this one off. We'll do that right now. Anyway, so that only leaves us a couple of stocks in here. Like I said, lots of uh, support at various levels below this PWR. This was an honorable, honorable mention coming into today. Let's take a look at the portfolio. And, you know, one thing, just FYI, one thing that I found myself doing is when I find a setup, I'm like, oh, look, a setup. And then I realize, oh, wait a minute, Dave, this setup really isn't that great. You wouldn't you wouldn't take this setup in great markets. Why would you take it now just trying to find something to make something happen? So that's kind of the, the thought process that I'm going through, especially as of late. ELF, nice little drop earlier in the day, but did recover to close off its worst levels and obviously in the plus column. KBH kind of flats fill, but then rallied, obviously. Still an inside day, still looking pretty ugly. On the shorts, you just sometimes have to close your eyes on those retrace rallies. Obviously, honor your stops just in case. Not much to say about KNF, but hanging around the top of its range, you know I me, mean, I sure like to see it get to new highs and stay there. LFMD was off to the races earlier today. Pretty amazing thing in spite of a pretty weak market at the time, but unfortunately did come back in by the end of the day. Let's take a look at the overall market, and then let's drill down. Obviously, to some sector action and some other things. Take a look at the S&P 500. Fairly hard sell-off. Got about a half of a percent in here. So, it tried to rally. Obviously, it came back in. Back below that 30 EMA. Still looks pretty toppy in here. We got a bit of an inflection point at 4,400. That would put us kind of back into this uh, bigger picture range up here. But for now, it doesn't look so great. Take a look at the NASDAQ. Selling off fairly hard. Now, it's back below 30 EMA. That's a halfway, not halfway, but it, that could be a decent uh, barometer, so to speak, to keep in the right side of the market. As you can see, lots of Landry light above uh, this nice little run that we had last summer. That was pretty good. But anyway, we're, we're kind of, we're basically in chop mode because we're above, below, above, below. But for the most part, it still looks toppy in here. It's becoming a bit of a complex head and shoulders. And that's where you have a lot of one head, obviously, and then a lot of whole, uh, shoulders on both sides. In this case, it would be two shoulders over here. Anyway, let's take a look at the rusty, rusty save as it ever was. Looks like it's going to come down here and challenge the bottom of the range. Uh, off a little today. Uh, I say a little, but you keep a little each day adds up and almost uh, 1%. So that's that's a pretty ugly slide in there. Regional banks got whacked fairly hard. They're just not looking so hot in here. Neither is banks in general. Now, Energy's had a decent rally, but I'm actually still seeing more shorts here than I am long. Nothing I want to go after, but... I am keeping an eye on the situation. If we do stall out one more time at these old highs, we could see more and more shorts setting up here fairly soon. Let's take a look at the foods. Foods remain a pretty serious slide. A little tiny bit of a bounce today, so that's pretty ugly there. Financial, selling off fairly hard in here. As you can see, lots of land light below that 30 EMA. So, so far, so far, obviously, downtrend remains intact there. Drugs kind of flatsville up a little bit. So far, they have a retrace look to them as i've been saying quite a bit biotechnology in general just in a downtrend tagged the 30 yesterday and day before and now it's beginning to mostly roll over from those levels although it did bounce a little bit today let's take a look at health services it's been a pretty serious slide as of late a little bit little bit of a bounce there too defense kind of hanging in there but so far it just looks like a bit of a retrace from this big slide also it has a tremendous amount of overhead supply to get through so that's of concern there. So pretty much same as it ever was, especially now the market's kind of getting weak a little, little bit in here. It did get a little strong for a while or did improve for a while, but obviously now it looks like it's back to the downside. We're kind of back in the soup a little bit. Take a look at retail. You can see it recently pulled back. Looks poised to continue lower. In spite of these areas looking fairly ugly, I'm, I'm not seeing a tremendous amount of clean charts out there. 
but hopefully that'll change should we need to start shorting again. Transport selling off fairly hard. You can see banging out some new lows in here and beginning to push into this prior support. Obviously, downtrend remains intact there. Semiconductors got whacked pretty hard, so that's a bit of a bummer. Now we're kind of back to falling tops mode. We pushed into the base. As you can see, this is kind of a bigger picture, head and shoulders type of top, although the right side is a little lower than the left. I prefer the right to be higher than the left. Uh, dust off your Edwards and McGee and Shabaka and whoever else talks a lot about head and shoulders. Maybe uh, Pring would be a more modern classic for that. But they do talk about the right shoulder being higher than the left, I think. I know I, I've observed it over the years and then confirmed it in one of those uh, t texts, one of those classic texts. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Obviously, it's still pretty ugly out there. You know the routine. Here it comes. Take things one day at a time. For now, I really think sitting on your hands is the way to go. Let's just manage what we have, and if we see something, obviously, we'll go after it if it's worthwhile. Everybody have a fantastic weekend. I will be checking in throughout the weekend, dodging honey to hunting do, so feel free to hit me up in Facebook or shoot me an email. Thank you so much, and again, have a great weekend.